Hi, in this video we'll see how to sort a list without messing up the data from the table. So, again we are a company and we received the report of our sales. So, we named sales report where we have some transactions of our salesperson and we want this time to make more readable in terms of value, in terms of sorting. So to sort our table we can go to data tab and the sort and filter mini tab we have three buttons regarding sort. First one is A to Z and this will sort our selected column from lowest to highest. Also we have from Z to A, so from highest to lowest value and the sort button will give us the opportunity to make more sorting options and give them priorities. Now First of all, we want to decide on which column we want to make the sort. Let's say that for us, the most important row from our transaction, for all of our transactions, it's the turnover value. Because in real life, the sales reports contains thousands of rows and the management team probably will want to see a sort report based on the turnover because that client probably will be the best way to prioritize the company's income. So, with other words, we will click on the turnover column on each cell, so it doesn't matter if I am located here on the second row or I am locating on the ninth row. So I will go to Z to A because I want to have in the first row the biggest turnover from our transactions. So click and as you can see now our transactions are sorted by value from highest to lowest. Now I will go back Control Z and this is the initial table and I will let you to um, I will underline the main idea that this type of sort will not affect our other columns. So Three five, three hundred seventy-five will remain at the same level with all the other information. Matt, customer one, and five of me. So again, I will click the column Z to A, and as you can see, the other columns were sorted with our turnover value. So we didn't mess up any data. This is very important option that sort function gives us. The other way is to sort from the smallest to highest. As you can see now we have the small value in the first row and then the third option it's to open the sort menu where we can make many sort many sorts but give them the priority by adding many rows the first row will be the most important and will give us the sort of the table so let's say that we have this first level of sort and we want to sort by turnover cell value but we will come back to largest to smallest click OK. 
then I will go back to the menu and I will click add level and the second level as you can see Excel wrote me that will sort first by turnover sort on cell values okay not color or font and then largest to smallest this is the order but the second level we want to sort them by date also based on the cell values but this time you see that Excel recognize our format and instead of largest to smallest we receive the options oldest to newest or newest to oldest we want to see the newest to oldest so recent transactions are a priority a priority for us we'll click OK and as you can see we have also based on the value we have the date from newest to oldest but I will try to edit and make the same value here so 375 and now if I go back to the sort menu you see that we have the newest it's May then it's April of 2020 but this time I will change so math is first Jim is the second but now let's check if we change from oldest to newest Jim should go first so sort from oldest to newest okay and here we go gym transactions it's on the first row so this is the way you can play with sort menu and you can add as many sort levels you can and then you simply select the level and click delete click OK and another important thing it's that in the sort menu you have the option to check my data has headers because in our case we have it we have a headers of our headline where we know that the column receive a name for date invoice product line but there are some cases when we don't have this type of headline so we just have directly the values in a column I will delete this one so now we don't have any type of headline but I can sort because I will uncheck and I will go to column name so instead of product date or turnover now I have column so I can sort by column F because F containing contains our turnover value so from largest to smallest and click OK now I will change and I will sort based on column E where we have the quantities so from largest to smallest so you will see that the sort will change our orders in transactions for example let's say for sure David will come first because he got 24 quantities in one row so okay oh oops we have Matt with 28 sorry so 28 is the biggest quantities volume in our transactions that's why when we sort with based on quantities we got Matt on the first place also you can use the sort menu by home tab in the top right we have sort and filter sort smallest to largest, sort largest to smallest custom sort which will bring us our menu or just filter